Welcome back to another manager guide. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to play using Igor Cherovchenko. Cherovchenko is a counter attacking manager with central attacking area. The defense would be stable on paper as his positioning is made in formation along with defensive style as all out defense. Center containment area helps the formation in defending against wide attacks. As the pressuring is conservative, your players won't be pressing hard, making it harder for your opponent to get behind your defense. The low defensive line also makes it easier for the user to defend against longboard spammers. These are the suggested play styles in each position, in my personal opinion. I would love to have one touch passing for each of the three forwards, as they would be tightly packed in the final third. You can play three goal coaches as well. The problem with three coaches is that they won't be much involved in the build-up. From my personal experience, it's better to use a fox in the box, preferably with one touch pass as CF. Don't use wingers in this formation. If you use wingers, they leave the wide areas open and you would be vulnerable to wide attacks. Of course, they would make your attack more fierce, but it won't be worth it to sacrifice your defense. Angerman with Destroyer or Box to Box works the best in this formation as Angerman would stay deep to intercept any passes down the central area. I prefer to use built up central backs in 3 CB formation as they would stay in position. You could use offensive or defensive DK. Now let's move on to gameplay. We got matched with a pretty decent player who was using the most common formation 4-3-1-2. As my Van Dyke was out of form, I played Maldini instead of Van Dyke. I played a crucial miss pass so high up the pitch for my opponent. If he had given a lofted cross, it would have been a goal. As I covered the ground passing lanes well, I defended it just fine. You can see that all my forwards have one touch pass. It makes it easier for me to launch counter attacks with quick passes instead of wasting through goals. In such cases, move your CF in between the passing lanes so that you could confuse your opponent to miss passes. As I played midfielders in wide areas instead of fingers, I was able to cover the wide backs. I switched to my Beckham Bobo who was at the pitch as I used pass and move to have an additional passing option which I do not recommend you to do. Now I already knew that he would be passing to his CF to carry on the counter attack. So I predicted the pass and closed the passing lane. As soon as I lost position, I switched to Viera to intercept the pass to his CF. I will link the manual switching tutorial on the top right corner. Forland tackled the ball of the defender before he could make the clear. Nedward laid the ball to Gilbert or Silva, who passed it to Cruyff, who have one touch passing. Cruyff then played a dynamic pass and move to beat the defense.
this is the reason why I insisted you to use an anchorman in this formation. The box to box or destroyer would be further up the pitch always, but the anchorman stays deep defending the central area. See how carefully I used shielding with joystick fade to beat Dino. Then I sprinted network to the golden zone for taking long ranges. I suppose my opponent was a nice guy as he allowed me to watch the replay. I subbed in both Inzaghi and Dennis Lowe who have one touch pass. Whenever I lost ball in the final third of the pitch, I made sure to cover the passing lanes to his CF. Gave a first time pass to Dennis Low. Since Dennis Low have through passing skill, his through pass was a perfect layout for Insagi to finish off. Maybe still more to come. 